guys, and welcome to me, Maggie, playing Half-Life, the first one. This is the first Half-Life game. Uh, I know it is ancient, um, but I've never ever played it before, and I thought that it would be fun to just, uh, you know, try it out with you guys. Um, it is a little gory, but it's also like gory in like 2000 so you know we'll see how this goes uh i've never ever played the game i know little to nothing about it and um yeah we're just gonna go on this journey together so pew whoa what select a level of difficulty or the training room and click play do i need to go to the training room i don't think so I think I'll just learn along the way. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided oh. for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Whoa. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area, Beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. These doors don't even... In the okay. event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away <coughs> from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Lady's done talking. Okay. So here I am in the Black Mesa testing facility. Whoa. That's exciting. From what I've heard about this game, oh Our damn it. That the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 oh, hours shit. in the level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high speed motors will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with the background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an open opportunity. A 
reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety <laughs> officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Was that enormous glowing? Oh, now damn it! Why do you have so much to say? And control facilities. Oh my God. Okay. Ugh. Please stand back from the audio and wait for the security officer to verify your identity before exiting the train. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. If, damn it! Mr. Freeman, looks like you're running late. Maybe I could finally get a word in edgewise was what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted. I swear to God, okay, the second I get like a gun, I'm going to shoot every single intercom in this damn facility. Okay, hello. It's me, Gordon Freeman. I am a PhD. I'm so much more rich than you, probably. Look at you. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh, look at your little arms. Look at his little body. Look at your little body, you silly person. You're so tiny. Man, this is ancient. Alright, hello. Oh. What? Anomalous materials. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm in. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Hey! hey. Mr. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, <laughs> I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. I'm the same as this guy over here. I'm like, man, how many messages did I have, bro? What? Get- Oh, I can jump! <laughs> Hello. This is what people that graduated with a PhD from- Damn Greetings. it, what? Did you just- Greetings, little, like, man. Uh, whenever I walk anywhere, I slide just a little bit. Alright, cool. So here we are. Uh, Enomat Labs. Ooh, are those my footsteps? Sure are. I sound like a basketball. Down the court. <laughs> it's a jump pass. <laughs> Alright. Is this where I was supposed to go? Hey, Einstein. Here. Stomping along just fine. Hmm. Very important. Interesting. Ooh! No smoking? I'm ready. What's in here? <gasps> hey! Candy. No, not candy. This is just beverages. Uh, whoa. Greetings! <laughs> Are you a robot? Why do you talk so funny? Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? What? Not in the microwave, bro. Hey there. Hey there, pal. That's... what? That's what is... stop talking to me, you robot. That robot's really scary. Hey! I wonder if I should run that test again. Who are you even talking to? If I wasn't here, would you... Stop hitting the vending machines. This man is really violent and he's making me very uncomfortable. What's over here? Authorized personnel? Me. Hello? Hi! Oh, is it this freak again? Oh no, it's Einstein. Me and him are cool. Hello. Hello. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? For you know. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Does that have to do with your ties? You're not. This is all within theoretical limits. Well, yeah. Man, you're crazy. You're you're a crazy freak. Talking about theoretical limits, like. 
what are you comparing that to? Are you saying that our life is in theoretical limits? Man, I'm out of here. Whoa. Why am I so little all of a sudden? God damn it! I hope those containment parameters are still nominal. Stop. Oh my god, are you guys just chatting in, in the pooper? You guys having a- whoa. I want in. <coughs> Hello? Okay. Um, I opened up my cool thing, but I can't really- Ooh, oh god damn it. Okay. I- okay. Was this where I was supposed to go? Where's my hazmat? Oh, is that my wife? Aww. Or are you my kid? I really can't tell. Alright. What expected. are you talking about? Oh, there's my hazmat suit. Okay, I'm just an idiot. Unlike you guys, I don't even have to wear a tie. I just get to wear cool outfits. Someone has hidden my glasses again. Bro. Open up my suit. Okay, fucking or don't. Do I have to do everything myself in this house? Let me let click. <laughs> what? Why? Why? Is there a button that I'm missing? Oh! <coughs> Shit, I don't even know what button I pressed. Was that R? That must have been R. Or maybe F. Oh! Welcome to the HEV. Hidden my glasses again. Protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. <coughs> I like this this dance music. This is just how I get down. Yeah. Oh man. Why do they play this music? That beats. <laughs> All right. Looks like you're in the barrel today. This is my favorite song. Okay. Ooh. Look at your- oh. Oh. Interesting. Hydroelectric dam. There you are. Look at your little mm -hmm. arms. And your enormous Doctor pelvis. Doctor Who are Doctor you? <laughs> Alright, catch you later, bud. I'm gonna call you Jeremy. Is there any other? Nope. Working as a team. Technology. Now operating at 60%. Excuse me. Were those were those even words? The button is definitely F. Please. Oh, those are just the lights. But I want in the door. Oh, that's my flashlight. Oh, wait. R? E. Oh, it's E. The button's E. Here I am. Ready for action. Ready. Whoop. Okay. Here we go. Initiate. Begin. Let- whoa! Okay, shit, fine. Like, what? Eat. Why is that so loud? Oh, there it is. Doctor Birdwell performs superconducting interchange is activated. Yeah, this game is so old. Maintenance access. Am I really just like a radioactive janitor? Oh, it's freaking robot and this weird buddy. Whoa, you say greetings too? Robots, all of them. Everyone here is a robot. I'm out of here. Hi, Einstein. You're my only real friend. Robot. Jeremy, hello. You're so cute. Let's go. Honest to god, I thought these were turds. 
I literally, I just, I really thought these were poops. I don't know why, I just thought that made sense. Those could still be poops. I actually, what are these? Caution, falling poops? Why? Okay, bye. Control room. Hello. Hello there. Yep. Ah, Gordon. Yep. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but we need hey. the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test Whoa. chamber. <laughs> In the test chamber. All right, buddy. Excuse me, I'm trying to look out the window. Okay. What? Yes. This what? Looks okay. Bye, robots. Goodbye, scary men. Hey, you look like an anomalous substance. Can I handle you? Nope. Whoa. Ah, it's about what? To go critical. Shit! Did you guys? What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to, it wasn't meant to have a big giant hole in the middle? Man, you guys have got some problems, clearly. Whoa, that one's even broken. This shit is gonna go south real fast. Doop, 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 doop. I'm in. Dude. Oh, it's a spiral elevator. Down one floor? Why not have a staircase? If, if the safety of like multiple people depends on my fitness, then I feel like staircases everywhere would be like a top priority. Eh, but I'd... Hello. But I'll make the rules. Test lab C33A. Mm -hmm. There's probably a joke I can make in there. I'm just, I can't. Okay, hello. This isn't a lab. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him You guys sat- wait, did you just smack your head against the button? Anyway, you guys sound like one guy doing two very silly scientist voices. You're like, er, yes, it seems that Gordon is a professional, and you're like, bleh, bleh, bleh. It's like, it's just incredible. Alright, hello. What am I here for? I didn't even listen. I did not even listen to what you guys had to say. Oh, oh, they locked me in. All right, hazmat suit Gordon. I feel like this guy did not pay, whoa. Testing. Yes, Testing. hello. Everything seems to be in order. Okay. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there. Until Please do not speak to me time. like I'm an idiot. I graduated with a PhD in theoretical physics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Sir, you sound like a silly butt. Gordon, you shut me. up. I'm oh my god. Why is he so patronizing? If I wanted to be talked to like this, I would have just gone back to high school. Oh! Ouch. Okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have jumped down from the top. We'll take it from here. Our two stage one emitters in three, two, one. Can I go in there? 
kind of want to. Ooh, mistakes. That made my health go down. Stage two emitters activating now. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. To do what? What am I doing? Overhead capacitors to one. But I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no, it's well within exact bounds. Sustaining It's probably a problem. I've just been informed that the saddle is ready for it. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your special. Um Oh, am I supposed to stay up here? Okay, hold on. Hold on, patronizing scientist man. I'm gliding up the elevator. Okay, um, delivery... No, what? Standard insertion for a non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the emergency What? Shut up! What is he doing in there? Nothing you need to worry about, Gordon. But Go I can't get down. I can't. I give up. Ooh, mistake! 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 Big mistake. Okay, dokie. That was an accident. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotor. I really don't appreciate that tone, sir. To and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Doot. Down. Down. E. Down. Oh. Oh, I get it. I understand now. Mm-hmm. This is exciting. Science is very cool. This is probably for a very important government project. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no, it's well within exact bounds. Sustaining sequence. No, dude, you gotta tell I people. I've been informed oh. that the sample is ready for it. It should be coming up to you. All right, now let's do this. I'm in. What is this? I want it. Give it to me. What? Oh, this is a little chair. I thought it was a tiny robot they made to to hand it to me. All right, let's go. Yeah. Was I not supposed to do that? Wait, was I... Was I supposed to do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Haha! <laughs> whoa! This is insane! Whoa! Shit! Hey, I'm, uh, okay. Unforeseen consequences? You're telling me! Damn. Okay. Well, at least I have a hazmat suit on. Christ. There's, like, Lego bricks falling from the sky. Everyone's dead! Everyone's dead! Bye.